Hello, you are watching the Utility Assistance video tutorial for the City of Peoria. I'm going to guide you through how to access the application as well as what kind of information you'll need to upload and include in your application. The first thing you're going to do is go to appreciatepeoria.com. That's where you'll find all the information about the Utility Assistance Program, about the lottery, about the online application, and then about the other versions of the application that you can access. So once you get to that homepage, you'll see this red banner on the top that references the Utility Assistance Program. So you'll click there, and that will bring you to the COVID-19 CDBG Assistance Programs tab. You can select English or Spanish to view the information. First, it gives you some information about the lottery. So our application period is open until Friday, May 14th at 5 p.m. This program is for Ameren and Illinois American water bills for up to six months of past due bills. And the city makes payments directly to the utility companies. This will tell you how to apply. So you can see the button for the online application. You also have a button for the uh, printable utility assistance lottery application. And for those who do not have access to the internet or who prefer to do a paper application, you can pick that up at City Hall, room 203, Monday through Friday from 8 to noon. Or if you'd like an application dropped off or mailed to you, you can call me at 309-369-2060. So I'll guide you through the online application today. So I'll click on that button to get to our neighborly software portal. You'll come up to this home page where you have the option to either sign in. So if you have applied for assistance from the city within the past year, you probably already have a login for this neighborly software portal. So you'll sign in with your email address and your password. If you have not signed in before or you've never used this portal, you'll just click over here on the right at register. They'll ask for your email address, first and last name, and then a password. Once you hit continue, they'll send you an email that just confirms that you wanted to sign up for this and then you'll be all registered. This conference will now be recorded. So once you log into Neighborly Software, you'll get a home page that says good morning or good afternoon to you. It also gives you information about who to reach out to if you have any trouble. So if you need this material in an alternate format or if you have any questions, you can email our office at grants at peoriagov.org. And then if you have any technical issues, you can contact support at neighborlysoftware.com and they're available um, during typical work hours throughout the week. This conference will now be recorded. When you scroll down your homepage, you'll see a few options to start a new application. Um, the city does have some other applications available for, um, for other needs, but what you'll be looking for is that first one, the Utility Assistance Program, and you'll click here to start a new application. You'll type in your first and last name and click Start Application. So this will be the home page for your application. Again, it gives you the email address for uh, the grants department. If you have any issues, you'll just click on click here to continue. That brings you to section A, eligibility, which gives you a description about the program, tells you the dates of the application period, as well as the lottery and lottery details. And then it asks you to complete some information about your eligibility for the program. In order to be eligible, you have to check these boxes. So I am a resident of the city of Peoria. My household income is at or below the 80% area median income level. So you'll select how many people live in your household. And as long as you um, your annual income level combined with everyone in your household is at or below this level, depending on the number of people in your household, you would qualify for the program. You'll also check that you have experienced some kind of negative household impact due to COVID. So whatever that might be, your work hours were reduced, um, your water bills are past due, you have increased childcare needs, whatever that might be. And if you have others, you can put that in the comment box as well. 
And finally, you understand that the following households are not eligible for the program. So if you receive a housing voucher or live in public housing, unfortunately, you would not qualify for this program. And same with households who have already received assistance through our COVID-19 household assistance program, which was launched in the summer of 2020. So you'll check that you understand that. Remember that your household must meet all of the above criteria in order to qualify for the program. You can click on save if you want to come back to this page, or if you're ready, you can click on complete and continue. That brings you to section B, applicant information. So you'll just put in your contact information here. Make sure to double check that your phone number and your email is correct, because that's how we'll be getting a hold of you if you are selected from the lottery. And then the number of people in your household would be adults and children, relatives and non-relatives, anybody who lives there permanently. The next section is utility information. First question is if you rent or own your home. If you rent your home, you don't have any more information for that one, but if you own your home, we may be able to assist with Greater Peoria Sanitary District bills. Um, we're still waiting on approval from the federal government as far as um, if we're able to do that. But just in case that's an option, we do wanna make sure we include that information for homeowners. So you'll just put in your account number and the name on your account for your Greater Peoria Sanitary District bills, and then let us know which dates you're requesting assistance for. Number two, are you requesting assistance with Ameren electric or gas bills? If that's a yes, you'll include your Ameren account number as well as the name on the account, and then the billing dates that you're requesting assistance for. So it can be up to six months, but it has to be either past or current bills. We're not able to assist with future bills. And if you're also requesting assistance with water bills, they have to be the same months that you're requesting assistance for. Once you complete that information, you'll upload the files of all of the Ameren bills that you're requesting assistance for. So again, it can be up to six. And same thing for Illinois American Water. If you're not requesting assistance, that's okay. You don't have anything else to do there. But if you are, you'll input your account number and the name on the account. And then same thing here, you can select up to six months of past or current bills, as long as they're the same as the Ameren bills, if you're also requesting assistance with that. And then you can upload files here. So again, up to six Illinois American water bills. And finally, we ask if you've applied for or received any other assistance with utilities in the past 12 months. If that's the case, we just wanna know what organization you requested assistance from, how much and when, and then you'll select if your application is pending, if you were approved for assistance, or if you were denied. And then if you did receive assistance, just let us know the amount and when you received it, and whether it was Ameren or Illinois American Water. If you've received assistance from multiple organizations or for multiple months, you can add row for as many as you need. Now, since I didn't save my changes, it does prompt me. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed, but that's just a good reminder to save your changes. Section D is household members. Again, this is going to be adults and children, relatives and non-relatives who permanently reside in the home. So I'll click here to add a member. Just put my information here. So you'll include everyone's birth date and social security number. And then you'll select the different demographics down here. You might see with this little minus sign that might be hidden, so you'll just have to click on the plus sign and then you can select from the drop down menus. For as many people as you need to add, you can just click to add a new household member. Make sure to fill out that information for each one of them so that your application is complete. I'll click on save this time. And then I'll move on to section E, which is income verification. So for each household member, you'll see that it pops up here. I'm gonna click on add an income source. So if I'm looking at the instructions here, anyone who is 18 or over, you have to complete this information. So it could be um, income from a job, it could be um, some income from government benefits, child support, retirement, et cetera. Even if someone does not earn any income, they still have to complete a form that just verifies that they do not earn any income. 
and then that will be the the documentation um, for that person so I'll click on add an income source I'll select from all of these different options here again if it's no income you'll have a link to the verification of no income form which you can upload there if I receive income from a job I'll click on gross pay let's say my annual income is $20,000 I'm going to attach my two most sorry my the two months of most recent pay stubs you'll upload those files here and that way we can just verify that the annual income matches um, what your pay stubs say and if you have additional sources of income maybe you also receive child support it'll tell you exactly what statements or what documentation you need to upload so if you have child support income you'll just attach your court ordered child support statements click on upload file Again, anyone who's 18 or older, you'll have to select an option for them, and then um, you'll have to attach some sort of documentation. Section I is required documents. So you'll attach a photo ID or driver's license for all adults in the household. And then you'll also attach some sort of address verification for any children. So that could be their report card or some sort of documentation from the school, as long as it lists their name and their address. Could be a medical ID or a medical letter, something like that. So you'll upload those files. This conference will now be recorded. Once you've included all the information that the application requires and uploaded any documents it requires, you'll get to this screen, which is the submit screen. So you will certify that the information is true and complete to the best of your knowledge. Agree to provide any documentation to assist in determining eligibility. Authorize the utility company to disclose information. So basically we might request with your account number and your, um, the name on the account, we might request your bills. Um, and that just authorizes the utility company to provide those for us so we can pay them. And then you authorize the city of Peoria to share your contact information with other assistance programs that could help you. So you'll click on those, click here to electronically sign, and all you have to do is just type in your name there. And finally, you'll click on complete and submit. So make sure you select this option. You don't just save here so that your application is officially submitted. And just to double check, you should receive an email and then you'll also get to this screen that tells you your application for utility assistance has been submitted. So at that point, there's nothing else that you have to do. There will be a virtual lottery held on May 19th at 10 a.m. And again, you can go to appreciatepeoria.com for all of that information. You can see you can call into the lottery if you'd like. You can also access it via internet, but you do not have to be present. What we'll do once we select the, um, the households who will be receiving assistance and once we order everyone else in the wait list, we'll post that information on this website and then those who are selected will receive a phone call from city staff um, within the few days after the lottery takes place and everyone else will receive either an email or a letter to their house letting them know what number they are on the wait list. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Again, my information is here. It's 309-369-2060. You can stop by City Hall and you can find all of our information here at appreciatepeoria.com. Thank you.